Bag Fink family and welcome to anyone new who's just come across our channel. My name is Emma, I'm one of the founders of Tenerife Horse Rescue and today's episode we're going to talk all about our dogs. I'm Emma and this is Edu, we're the founders of Tenerife Horse Rescue. We are a small non-profit, self-founded, eco-friendly animal sanctuary born in 2018. We are run by a great big family of volunteers and an even bigger animal family. Don't forget to press the subscribe button to follow our Finca Life adventures every week. So those of you who may know, or if you're new, we're actually a horse rescue centre. That's where we started. We planned on rescuing horses and farm animals and the animals that didn't really already have sanctuaries on the island. And that's where it all started. However, we expanded and we grew and we saw the need of dogs that needed rescuing. At first we had, I think maybe four or five and then that became 10. And then we suddenly realized that we're turning into a bit of a dog sanctuary as well. Um, so what we did, we were really, really lucky that another sanctuary on the island, they found us and they supported us, um, our Kanoa, and they helped us at the beginning. They supported us through a great deal Actually, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. They even supported horse paddock for us when we needed an emergency place for a horse to come. But we teamed up and we became so much stronger. And we needed advice on what we could do about dogs and how we could take so many. And, and this developed an, a great relationship with them. And they already have hundreds of dogs of, of their own. So we, we created almost... Um, I, we, we became partners like a team sometimes when they overflowed we had more space but we didn't have the funds you know we were new and this is exactly what happened with Smeagol um, I think I can probably find some old footage of her I think there was eight of them eight puppies they came quite often every day they get they're getting calls because there's just dogs thrown in the bin dogs thrown in, left in the barranco you find them all the time and not just them, not just us, all of the dog sanctuaries on the island are overflowing. And we're much stronger if we work together. So when they're exploding at the sides, they called us and then we made some dog pens and then they helped us. Dulux also came from them. They rescued, I think six of them came together and there was nowhere to put them, eight of these. And many of our other dogs have come from them as well. So we sort of team up and try to rehome them. And yeah, and now we seem to be Tenerife Horse Rescue, Dog Rescue, <laughs> Cat Rescue, Duck Rescue. We have it everywhere, but we wouldn't have it any other way. You can't have a sanctuary without dogs everywhere, right? And at the moment, I think we have around 25. And next week, we're actually going to another sanctuary, but that could be another story we can explain next week, how we work with a different sanctuary and try and take some more because there's, they're just exploding everywhere. There's a, um, a big state a big state sanctuary which has got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and dogs like wonky sergio lumpy we bring them to us if they've been in the sanctuary their whole life and they don't have a chance of adoption and then they come to us as well so i can touch more on that next week but for this week what we're we doing we're going to go see see anna see her team see ark noah and i'm taking some of our volunteers and we're going to go meet some of their dogs and see how we can develop our relationship further and how we can work together and rescue more and more and more dogs. So thank you for uh, your support in these dogs so far and I hope you enjoy the next lot of dogs we're about to go meet. So we're going on a little road trip. Some of the Finca girls, all the Cuddle Me girls in the back there look. All of us sponsored by Cuddle Me. <laughs> We're going to go to our partner um, animal sanctuary. It's a dog and cat sanctuary, Ark Noah. And I mean, if I'm going to go see them and see some puppies, these girls all want to come as well and go see some of the amazing work that they do at the other sanctuary. So we're here with Anna. You, some of you may know her already if you've been following when we shared about Ark Noah, their sanctuary. She's responsible of all this madness. She experiences animal sanctuaries like we do. 
and we've come to see theirs and their animals. So, um, yeah, so I'm so sorry, I'm staring right at the sun. <laughs> yeah, and we worked together like a long time now. Yeah, like, like four years, I think. Four years already. And we help castrate the dogs, vaccinate the dogs, making blood tests and stuff. And Hi. <laughs> I yeah. knew. Because we always think if we do it together, we can help so many more, right? That's how we are. Yeah. So I can talk about you. This is the lovely Bounty, and as you can see, she's super, super friendly. And poor Bounty is just desperate for a home of her own. She, they've had her nearly four years here because nobody wants her. Don't know why. She's only seven, I think they said, and she's so lovely. And we would take her if we could. Oh, thank you. For that. We would take them all if we could, but hopefully someone will give her a nice home because she's so lovely. Thank you for the bath. Are the cat quarantine rooms? Oh, I think our door is not closed enough. This is Arbalea and Brady. Hello to leukemia positive cats. So it's hard to rehome them because normally people want free running cats. Four in total and two are already rehomed, but it's hard to rehome them because they only can be in apartments because they have leukemia and so they cannot go outside because it's infectious for other cats. Yeah, it's not so, yeah. We try to build a dog run because this is all our land. And we are fighting with the Spanish paperwork, like Emma knows. We, yeah. We're really yeah, fighting. We well. Now we have like two walls and we want to close it here, but it's not possible because of the high water in the small barranco there. So the uh, this one there, the like one meter, two meter barranco, it's not big, but it's really crazy because the barranco, high water, Ayuntamiento is fighting with the building Ayuntamiento. So it's really crazy. Yeah, if you're interested to adopt a dog at our place, uh, in the bottom you find a telephone number, you can call us and we can send you information and you come and visit our shelter. We have a lot of puppies, a lot of older dogs and a lot of special need dogs for sure. And yeah, and beautiful small puppies like him, like I tour. And at the moment we are searching for a volunteer for our social media team who is doing filming and YouTube video cutting and stuff like this. So anybody who loves animals like we would be, we would be really happy to have you in our team. Just send us a message on Facebook, Instagram or a WhatsApp. So as always, we want to give you a really big thank you for watching our video and 
again, we're going to ask for support because every time you watch our videos and you comment and you like it, it's helping us to rescue animals like these. But today, I'm going to ask for a double favor. As well as commenting, subscribing and liking our channel, can you like theirs as well? If you want to see more videos about cute cats and dogs and helping us help more animals, then why not watch them and us? As always, thank you from team at Tenerife Horse Rescue and team of Arknoa for watching our videos and for all of these millions of cats and dogs. We couldn't do it without all of your support. See you next week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to say welcome to anyone new who may have come across our videos and may have come across our channel, actually. No, change that. Three, two, one, go. I oh, know, I don't know. <laughs> I had it all yesterday.